Hello, I'm Richard Van Wyhe with EV for You Custom Conversions. Today I'd like to show you what you can uh, do on your own with a limited budget but with some uh, forethought and some ingenuity. Uh, you can do this yourself. Uh, the car behind me on the trailer is a Ford Festiva that a gentleman that I met uh, did himself. He's actually done two vehicles. He did a Chevy Sprint and the Ford, both extremely similar and both for under $10,000. The Chevy Sprint he did for $7,500. They're both 120 volt lead acid battery uh, conversions and are perfect for a short commute uh, to work or school um, in the 20 to 30 mile range. And so we'll give you a little uh, close up and overview of his uh, conversion. He, uh, he did a very nice job and kept it on a budget, did everything himself. And so we'll show you that. Uh, I'd also like to uh, tell you about our transport service. Uh, we offer uh, transport of your electric vehicle. Uh, perhaps you've bought a donor vehicle that doesn't run uh, or you need to transport an electric vehicle far beyond its range. We have flatbed trailers and enclosed trailers and if you're in the southern Oregon, northern California, central California area, uh, we offer uh, reasonable transportation of your vehicle. Um, let's uh, take a look at the conversion. Okay, here's the view under the hood of the Ford Festiva. I'm not sure of the exact year. Um, but anyway, let's take a close up of what he has here. Like I said, this is a 120 volt DC system, lead acid, and he has a four batteries under the front here and uh, and the auxiliary battery. So here's the, uh, the auxiliary battery in the same place where it was originally and uh, here's one, two, and then uh, three and four there. He has a uh, heat sink right here mounted vertically out in the center of the uh, engine bay and he's got a uh, controller here it looks like a uh, uh, Curtis 1231C that'd be a 500 amp uh, right here in front he's got uh, the uh, main contactor um, Right here is the uh, vacuum pump for his power brakes. He uh, looks like he has a pressure switch right here to maintain the vacuum. What else can we see from here? Uh, the motor is a Advanced DC, not sure the size, looking at it from here, I'm guessing it's an 8 inch. He's running uh, off of the tail shaft uh, air conditioning, and here's the air conditioning compressor, and an alternator. We don't do that, we use a DC to DC converter instead um, but you know this is a way to do it he did it uh, um, very economically like I said this is uh, approximately a, a seven thousand to eight thousand dollar conversion I know his Chevy Sprint was seven thousand five hundred looked almost exactly like this only the Chevy Sprint he didn't have room for the tail shaft and so he didn't have um, 
uh, an auxiliary pulley and the car didn't come with air conditioning anyway whereas this one did up here you can see his pot box mounted on the firewall very clean job he did a, he did a nice job and this is something that anyone can do with a little mechanical aptitude and you know by doing your homework and and uh, having an idea of the big picture and putting some thought and planning into it uh, he's able to get everything to fit inside this small engine bay so there's uh, takes 10 batteries for this uh, 10 12 volt batteries for this 120 volt system so let's go take a look at where the other six wound up and that's in the in the back here's the view of the back of the car with the hatch up you can see uh, the batteries hanging below the bumper slightly they drop down here um, the batteries are black the frame is black not very noticeable um, still got a spare tire in here and he has a, a, a deck that goes in here so allows him to continue to carry some groceries and stuff in the back here it's removed now so we can see the detail here so there's um, five batteries across the bottom that we saw from below here another shot there's your five and the sixth one sits on top next to the spare tire and then on the top of the shelf here which he has covered keep out of the Sun is uh, a Zyvon charger so very nice job just to show you what you can do uh, for a you know um, economical conversion we'll take a closer up look at the uh, dash and gauges okay dash looks just like it did from the factory he has a few instruments down here below the stereo the cigarette lighter and the ashtray and they are you can see if you can get the lighting better here we've got a vacuum gauge which monitors the vacuum uh, from his uh, vacuum pump this car has been sitting quite a while and he still has 10 inches of vacuum he's got a uh, voltmeter and an amp gauge and then down here on the floor he's got his main disconnect which uh, allows him in an emergency or for servicing to disconnect uh, the batteries the car retains its four passenger capability still has a back seat and still has you know some room in the back uh, not quite as much as it had originally um, but enough uh, you know to bring home some groceries on the way home from work or whatever the uh, nice thing about uh, a conversion like this is it allows for an inexpensive commuter vehicle that would take you to and from school or work and be a reliable um, economical transportation now you could um, upgrade this with lithium and it would cost you another five or six thousand dollars but then you'd have a maintenance free 10-year commuter car that would have no uh, smog requirements you'd have uh, very little maintenance 
and you would have just a inexpensive reliable commuter vehicle and so there we have it an electric conversion for less than ten thousand dollars that's clean simple reliable and let's see here if we have a, a date it looks like 89 so I'm guessing this is a 19 I don't think so I want to say it's got to be in the 90 something not familiar with the make and car so I I don't know the exact year but anyway there you have it and this is what we teach you to do in our three-day hands-on conversion workshops we teach you to take whatever vehicle you like and convert it to a reliable efficient electric vehicle and that's what this is no 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 frills it's just good old transportation um, which is the bulk of what most of us do to and from work and um, you know grocery store and so forth one place he doesn't go to is the gas station and this is uh, a, a perfect example he did an excellent job for uh, seven thousand five hundred to eight thousand dollars so anyway if you want more information on how you can do your own conversion visit us on the web at ev for you now dot com letter e letter v number four letter u now dot com and uh, you can click on our three-day hands-on conversion workshops which are filling up quickly and we'll teach you to do your own see you next time